Hey there, terrific teachers and techies out there. Today, I'd just like to talk a little bit about two important settings if you're using forms within the Genespez domain. So here's just a sample little uh, form I have here. Uh, it just has a couple of math questions on it. And the first question I have here is listing the student's name. Now, you could have it as name where they fill in their whole name. You could have first name, last name, however you decide to do that. But right now, the default setting in any form within our domain, and that's where you click up here, is that it's restricted to just our Genespez or Sepna users, which is fine if you're assigning this in classroom, however you might be assigning it. Just means that they would have to be signed in to fill out this form. If it was a form that was maybe being used outside of student use, then you would have to uncheck that because if it was a parent or some other contact that's not a student, they wouldn't be able to fill out the form. So that's fine. But right now, as it's set up, uh, I'm requiring them to put their name as it is a required question, but really they could put any name in here. And, or even just by mistake, maybe put a name that not their name for some reason. So you might want to go back into those settings and check this off here that says collect email addresses. So what that will do is regardless of the name they put in, they would uh, still collect their email address. So I'll show you what I mean. If I go to preview mode and you can see right up top, it'll say your email address is listed here. Okay. If by chance it's not you, you can switch accounts. So regardless of whatever name you put in, it's still going to capture my email address. And if I put an answer in here, I know that's not right. I hit submit. When I go over to my spreadsheet, as you can see, even though the name is coming in as whatever I typed in there, the email address is still listed there. So you can always verify who your students are, regardless of what they put in there. Adding the name just makes it a little bit easier. So as long as they put it in correctly, that you're not looking at an email address that's a combination of letters and numbers, and you're trying to figure out which student that is. So that's just a little tip. When you go in and you start using a Google Forms that the default setting is in fact at restricting users in our domain, and then you might want to check off collecting email addresses. Really, it comes down to what your form is being used for, what sort of questions you're capturing, and if really having their name is required or not. So I hope this helps you out, and good luck in creating your forms.